Hey guys, um, I found a solution to the backend error uh, glitch I keep getting, and now I'll show you how it's done. Okay, so I'll show you the bug in question that I keep encountering. Um, so backend error failed to receive data. I have a 100 megabyte download speed, 20 megabyte upload speed. I have a stable wired connection. There's no reason for this to happen, but you see I press the power. Bottom right corner is a spinning wheel. So I already know that this power isn't actually going to turn on. It's going to give me the error backend error. I failed to receive data and then it'll reset. Might take a bit longer. Yeah, here it is. Backend error failed to receive data. That's just from clicking the power. And look. Oh. So now if I were to head back into my hideout. <clears throat> you will see the power is actually off, so none of that registered. Now if I go to my character, and let's say, oh, it's loading slowly. I want to move a few things around. Maybe, I don't know, disassemble this M4 or something. Where's the button for it? Here it is. Oh, yeah, there's a spinning wheel. So I pressed escape there because it wasn't happening. But you see, if I were to leave after, let's say, organizing my inventory, then the error is going to happen again. And then here it is, back end error. It's going to refresh. And now go back in character, and none of that changed. So I'll show you the solution that I found. OK, so the solution that I found um, is using an application application called exit lag. I'll put the link in the description so you can try it out. Basically, you run this and then you'll sign in because you have to make an account. Uh, it's, it's a it's a monthly paid program that you need that you have to pay for. But there's a three day uh, trial that is what I'm using right now. Um, and I found it works really well. So I'm thinking of going further into it. But essentially what you would do is so you'd find your game. Uh, let's open up game. So escape from Tarkov, I already added it. And then game region, I just put that automatic so it finds the best port or something like that. And then you apply the routes. I don't know the science behind it, but all I know is that it works and I'll show you, that's all you do. You just add it, it'll be added. And then when you start the game, it's gonna show you connections. Um, I can actually show you by launching the launcher. Got a notification saying that it's running. Okay, so my game, and then you'll see, here we go. It's connecting to Montreal servers or whatever this is. Um, then I'll show you the result of having this. You can, there's an option, you can press X, it'll stay open in the background, and I'll show you what happens in game now. Okay, so now that I am in game, I'll show you. So I'll just, it's running in the background right now. Uh, I minimized it. So now I go to my hideout, press the power, boom. You see it stopped for a second, but it's good now. So now if I were to leave, then enter my hideout again, power still on. And I guess, boom, turn it back off. No problem whatsoever. Go here. I'm not going to disassemble my M4 again because I don't feel like putting it back together. Move this around. Get out. You see it loaded and it's saved. So this is the solution that works for me. Again, it is a paid program that you need to pay for. You can use the first, uh, the three day trial to see if it really works for you. Cause I don't know, I, I sent in requests and haven't gotten a reply yet or whatever. So I don't know if this issue is just happening to me or whatever, but this solution that I found, hopefully, you know, my game gets fixed in the future or something, but you can feel free to try it. Uh, it's just, use a three day. Otherwise, you can read the memberships if you want to keep using the program. It's a very nice program works really well. So yeah, thanks for watching.